Van D, a dynamic leader with decades of experience building companies and crushing sales. He's been there and done that. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Van D. Inspiring audiences across the country to do it too. Here's Van. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Van Deeb Podcast. Man, I'm glad you joined me today. I have a topic that is something I'd love to talk about because without this, I don't think we can get a lot done in life, and that is ambition. I firmly believe ambition is the foundation for success. If you have, just think about this, if you have a burning desire to achieve something, then you're ambitious. So what is ambition anyway? Ambition has been defined as a strong desire to do or to achieve something typically requiring determination and hard work. So that definition right there defines me perfectly. Since I am always working hard and trying to get better at everything I do on a daily basis. What do what do ambitious people have in common? Just think about this. What do all of us have in common? Ambitious people are a diverse group. They don't necessarily have to have a, a great education, a PhD. They don't need to have a fancy office or work in a fancy building. They don't have to drive a brand new sports car or live in an expensive house. However, the following things, people that are ambitious will have this in common. They have drive, they have desire, they have determination, and they have discipline. To go after whatever they want in life, that's what ambitious people have in common. Now, I can only speak for myself, which I do on all my podcasts. You're getting my failures and my victories and my experiences. Hopefully, my words in this podcast will spark a flame in you as well. From the beginning of my career, I've had a burning desire to succeed. In other words, I've always been a very ambitious person. In fact, I would not want to spend one day of my life not being ambitious. Why? Because if I didn't have ambition, I feel like my life would be super boring. Now, most of you know my background. If you've been listening to my podcast these last several years, I didn't grow up with any money. My family was, was wonderful. We had a ton of love, but we did not have money. I had to pretty much, if I wanted a car, I had to shovel a lot of driveways and mow a lot of yards, and I had to create my own income stream if I wanted anything. And so, Ambition was instilled in me at a very young age by myself. No one put that in me. Walter Cottenham says this. He says, intelligence without ambition is a bird without wings. Man, do I really believe in that. So I truly believe also that God blessed me with the skill set and the mindset to keep working on myself continually so I can become the best possible version of myself. When I do this, it encourages those around me to do the same. I inspire others because they know that if I can do it, they can do it too. Because like I've said over and over, I'm not anything special. I'm just a guy that likes to work hard and wants to live the best possible life. If you want more from life and want to accomplish greatness, it's my goal to convince you that having ambition will get you there. All of these podcasts, my goal is pretty simple. I want to help you move the needle. I want to help you go from where you're at to where you want to be. And if you listen to all my podcasts, I guarantee they'll help you. So for many people, success involves acquiring wealth, power, or fame. However, I believe that success is different for each person. It depends on your goals and your level of happiness and what you have accomplished. <clears throat> for some people, success is just being a great parent, which is huge, 
being a great provider, being a great son, being a great employee. It doesn't have to do with anything with money. Just remember that. Another thing I truly believe is when you have ambition, it's like fuel. It's like putting fuel in your car so it goes somewhere. Ambition fuels greatness. So being ambitious to live an above average life has nothing to do with obtaining more money. You just heard me say that. And everything to do with living the kind of life you desire. And I want to repeat this. Even if your ambition is just about being a better family member or something better that has nothing to do with income, that's still considered ambitious. You're still considered an ambitious person. So my ambitions, they include building a successful sales and business career. That's what I'm ambition about, ambitious about. Also, I'm ambitious about being a great father to my daughter, Courtney. I want to always be known as I was a great father to my daughter, Courtney. And not most importantly, but pretty dang close, a good parent to my dog, Baxter. I'm very, most of you that know me, I'm very ambitious about making sure that my dog is the happiest dog on the planet. So there's some ambition in that area too. So see, it has nothing to do with money. And I intend to utilize every ounce of my God-given talent to make all those things happen that I just told you about. That's what ambition is. Ambition is wanting to get something done and then making a plan of action to make it happen. Mark Twain has a quote that I like. He says, keep away from those who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that. But the really great make you believe that you too can become great. So in other words, hang out with like-minded people. Stay away from the negative Nellies. So I want to ask you some question. Question, I should say. Would you describe yourself as an ambitious person? So I'm going to ask you this. If you have one or more of these characteristics I'm about to ask you, then you are considered an ambitious person. Number one, you make sacrifices in regard to things that could detour you from accomplishing your mission. For example, I sacrificed, I can't tell you how many trips I sacrificed with my friends on weekends because I wanted to use that time to help build my business and to be available for my clients. That's ambition. Number two, you wake up in the morning incredibly motivated to make today as productive as possible. And also, at the same time, you're motivated to make a difference in somebody else's life. Ambitious people do this. You believe in adding value in everything you do, which means you do more than expected. And you take that extra step, either for yourself or for someone else. I know when I get hired to go speak to a company, no matter where it's at in the United States, I'm constantly thinking, what can I do to add value? And I add value before they ask me to. I want to do something extra that they didn't expect me to do. Ambitious people do this. Even in my real estate career, I want to add value to my clients. You understand, number four, you understand that in order to live an above average life, you have to be an above average person. You have the mindset of a leader and not a follower. Once again, if you want to experience what it's like living an above average life, it's there for you. But you have to be an above average person. And you can find out all kinds of ways to live an above average life by going back and going through my podcast or hiring me to speak at your next event. You can get a hold of me through vandeeb.com. Number five, you are constantly identifying ways to improve yourself. And you never stop making changes that will lead to a better life. Man, I tell you something. I found that making positive changes in my personal life 
has had a monumental impact on my business life as well. My mother used to say this, and she, it's so true. We are our own worst enemies. I can't tell you how many people that used to work at my company, and some people would, with huge potential, would come in hungover, and they're going to give 50% of what they could have if they would have not stayed out till 2 in the morning. So we are our own worst enemy. You shape your personal life and watch what happens to your business life. Ambitious people do that. Number six, you want the story of your life to be all about the work you've put in, the relationships you've built, and everything else you've done to fulfill your ambition and your purpose. Create that story because that's what it's going to be. When your life is over, it's towards the last couple days of your life, all you have to look back at is your story. How did you shape that story? How did your ambition get you what you wanted out of life? Number seven, you understand that ambition and a positive attitude are one and the same. You know that you can't get to where you want to go without having both of these traits as part of who you are. You refuse to tolerate negativity in yourself, and also you stay away from negative situations and people. I can't tell you how important this is. Negative people will rub off on you. I've said this so many times on my podcast and at my speeches, and something Jim Rohn, one of the greatest speakers of all time, wrote, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you spend time with negative people, you're going to become negative. You spend a lot of time with people that are broke, chances are you're going to become broke. You, you spend a lot of time with people that are respectful, chances are you're going to be a respectful person. It goes on and on and on. You may not realize it, but we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. If you're around negative people, it's going to curtail your ambition. So stay away from them. I don't care who they are. Stay away from them. And last but not least, number eight, you understand that the higher you reach, the harder it will be for you to accomplish your goals. You know that having ambition is essential in overcoming the challenges you face. So the reason why it's harder the higher your goals are is because not everybody can accomplish those. So I recommend setting goals that are attainable. Don't set, I mean, set great goals, but make sure that you can create a plan of action and have the discipline to, to accomplish those goals. If you set them too high, you might be discouraged if you don't come close to getting them. Small goals and then gradually build on those. One thing I love Steve Jobs uh, had to say, Steve Jobs uh, said several quotes that I love, but one thing, one thing I love about um, um, some of the things that he said and in, in what he implemented in his company is he says the people who are crazy enough that, to think that they can change the world are the ones that do. And I want to tell you, I really believe that. If you believe in yourself, you have the ambition that you want to make something happen, nobody's holding you back but you. I don't care what you're doing in life. Nobody is holding you back but you. Every accomplishment that you've ever heard of is always built on a strong foundation. No matter what path you take in life, you, you got to start somewhere. And remember what I say all the time. You don't have to be great to get started, but you just have to get started to be great. You got to start somewhere. Baby steps is okay. If ambition is part of your core and your foundation, whenever you're starting something new or trying to finish something you've always wanted to accomplish, it will propel you to your destination. Look in the mirror and say several times to yourself, I am ambitious. I am ambitious. You know, I believe in that. I believe in talking out loud to yourself because if you can't tell yourself what to do, nobody can. Watch what happens to your life when you profess to yourself that you are an ambitious person. And I want to tell you something. If you're like me and you have a strong work ethic along with being ambitious, man, you're going to be unstoppable. I've been unstoppable. And it wasn't something I was born with. 
I just realized that drive, desire, determination, discipline, and ambition, nothing will hold you back, and it hasn't held me back because of those things. Because I made a decision in my life to be ambitious and to take advantage of everything that God put in me. So, you know my message. Don't waste your God-given talents or lose sight of your ambition for whatever you want to become or accomplish. No matter what you want to achieve, I'm telling you, I promise you, I'll guarantee it, it will happen if you have ambition. Please stay in touch with me. I would love to come speak to your company. I don't care if it's five people or some of my clients are as big as Union Pacific and Aflac and some other huge clients I have. I would love to come speak to your company. You can get a hold of me through my website, vandeeb.com, or email me, van at vandeeb.com. But most of all, would you please do me a favor? Anybody you think that needs ambition, will you forward this podcast to them? At the very least, subscribe to it, and then please forward it to somebody you know that could use a little bit of a kick to understand how important having ambition is. I'm so grateful you were with me today. Please, please, please subscribe to the Van Deeb podcast and forward this to somebody you love. Thank you. A Huda Media Production.